Welcome to the introduction to SEC on RTL and early timing analysis video. My name is Carlos and in this video I will walk you through the basics of the new user designer list, the new SEC on RTL feature, and the post synthesis static timing analyzer. With the science growing larger with increased complexity, Timing analysis has become an even more critical aspect of the SPGA design cycle. Accurate timing constraints allows Intel Quartus Prime software to obtain optimal results to ensure the signs meet timing requirements. Quartus Prime Timing Analyzer requires a compiler-generated netlist of the design synthesized nodes and connections to perform timing analysis. This timing netlist is generated in the timing analyzer any time after running the feeder. The Design Netlist Infrastructure Flow, known as DNI, serves as a platform to access the user design netlist during the elaboration stage via the new SDC on RTL feature, which is available for Quartus Prime Pro 22.3 and later. SDC on RTL helps to read SDC files which target the user design netlist early in the compilation flow and use them in the later stages of Intel Quartus Prime compilation. This will allow you to do more iterations per day, since no, you don't need to run the feeder every time your design change a bit. SEC on RTL supports files written using SEC 2.1 compliant SEC commands and can support general TCL code that the DNI console can parse. With these SEC files, designers can define clocks, exceptions, groups, and more, targeting the design netlist without modifying the design flow. Some of the benefits of starting designs using the DNA flow and including SEC on RTL SEC files in your designs are First, your target is your own source. SEC on RTL allows you to constrain hierarchical pins using the names defined in your design netlist. For instance, port names, registers or net names can be targeted by SEC on RTL constraints. This validates the existence of the items in the user design netlist and the correct application of the constraints early in the design cycle. However, unlike conventional Intel Quartus Prime software SEC files, SEC on RTL feature does not support constraints applied to Quartus generated nodes, such as get keepers or get registers. Instead, use SDC 2.1 compliant commands. Now, with the SDC on RTL, you can directly constrain the ports of the modules you have created. It is not necessary to know where a signal comes from to be able to constrain it. This can be beneficial for collective designs where work is divided and where now you can constrain the ports of your modules even without knowing the names of the nodes where signals come from. After analysis and elaboration, you can invoke the RTL analyzer from the compilation dashboard. The RTL analyzer GUI allows you to view the constraints on the elaborated design netlist. Using the property viewer, you can view constraints targeting a selected object. This will allow you to be sure that the constraints target the intended nodes in your RTL design. Constraints applied via SDC on RTL can constrain a design throughout the entire compilation flow. As the compilation progresses, the compiler keeps the constraint targets updated. This can eliminate the need to have separated SDC files for synthesis or feeder stages. In a right ones, use everywhere methodology for the constraints. However, it's still possible to include additional SDC files during the synthesis or feeder stages to complement or override the constraints defined via SDC on RTL. The DNI flow also enables a post-synthesis timing analysis. This allows you to run timing analyzer directly after synthesis. On the compilation dashboard, this stage is referred to as the early timing analysis. Post-synthesis timing analyzer loads the constraints defined in the SEC on RTL files. This can be reported via standard constraint diagnostics reports 
to verify the correct application of the constraints. In addition, post-synthesis static timing analysis provides an early view of the design's core timing, providing you with the ability to iterate on timing analysis results during the initial stages of the design. This shortens the design cycle, providing feedback as the design progresses, allowing you to identify timing closure issues earlier and helping to achieve timing requirements faster. In conclusion, the DNI flow allows access to the user design netlist and enables SDC on RTL. SDC on RTL provides the ability to target the design netlist, including hierarchical pins. In addition, to allow the user to constrain ports in modules even without knowing the names of the nodes that connect to them. SDC on RTL allows the right ones use everywhere methodology for the constraints, without disabling the possibility of using additional synthesis or feeder SDC constraint files, which in turn is appropriate for new designs. And finally, Post Synthesis Static Timing Analyzer provides an early view of the core timing and an easy way to verify the application of the constraints in the design netlist created with your RTL design. Thanks for watching.